Hey, have you heard the news? There's not much news. Apparently, Pink Floyd has sold every single song in their catalog for $400 million. So, that's a lot of songs. But, uh, maybe this will not um, factor into the, like, the arguments amongst the split in the camp. So, who knows? It's uh, David Gilmore and Roger Waters' Eternal Feud. So, yeah. We re recently lost uh, Chris Christofferson. Now, I was never a fan of Chris's singing, but as a songwriter myself, he has to be respected for all the songs that he wrote and sang that other people bought from him and covered themselves and they became like really big hits and standards of the time so chris will de be definitely missed he was uh, probably his greatest success was probably in his uh appearances in movies and tv and other uh areas of entertainment so yeah i heard the eagles are taking their charade into 2025 so that farewell tour is going to be continuing I guess probably through 2025 and uh, Paul McCartney in his frail voice has announced he's starting a tour this fall so those who like to overpay for something that's underperformed more power to you you could be better off going to see the band in st louis um, area called uh, edge of blue you're guaranteed to have a good time when you're at an edge of blue concert look them up when you're in that area other news, like I said, there's hardly any news. Loverboy is uh, in an IHOP commercial. They're working for the weekday, I guess. It's good that they get their name out. That's excellent. So, other bits of news. Uh, Sean Morrison is still delivering it on the daily. And he has for many years now. It's a good channel to get your news from. So do it. Also recently. Uh, uh, Harmless Dave over at the Real Mu Music Observer. Has had egg on his face. Because of uh, mixing religion and politics and entertainment like in a potpourri of his content so he's had a few blow-ups recently and I believe he has deleted those videos since then so apparently he's struggling right now and he wants uh, you to show a hand of support so if you're into that I guess more power to you so the big question is, will uh, 2025 be the last year that Dawkins takes it on the road? I can't see anything beyond that year, really. So, I still think he could continue if he brought uh, Mark Bowles with him, like he did in the past. But, I guess for financial reasons, he... Uh, Quit bringing Mark around. Mark Bowles is one you want to sing in harmony with you. He will finish off those high notes. He's one of the best singers that nobody, except for seasoned metalheads, know. A class act guy as well. He's an operatic singer too. If you ever seen him perform in opera, uh, you'll know that he's a man of many, many skills. So, uh, 
I'm not really anticipating too much of these fall releases coming out. So I'm hoping that we get a really great uh, uh, late winter and spring uh, like uh, music releases.